Point to ponder number two. As servant kings, like Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, we fathers and father figures cannot shy away from correcting those we father. However, come in, come in, fathers, come in, because I think this is where we miss it. We must try, always try, try, effort, try to do so with a servant's heart. So our correction, our direction, our instruction, our rebuke, our reproof, comes from a servant's heart. I'm not doing this because I'm big and bad and I'm the dad and you got to listen to me. I'm doing this because I love you and I want the best for you and I'll do whatever it takes to get that for you. Can I get an amen right there? Hallelujah. Now, we looked at two scriptures earlier. And I'd like to cite those two scriptures. Uh, uh, the first one talked about fathers provoke not your children to anger. And the, the latter said fathers provoke not your children to wrath. Those two scriptures, scriptures do not mean that you will never upset, oppose, annoy, or anger your son and daughter. Correction will cause all of those emotions in our children. And this is normal. You're at work, your boss gets on you for something. And of course you say, yes, boss. No, you don't. As soon as your boss leaves, you're like, Psst. we're upset because somebody corrected us. Why? Human nature, because we live in a sin-cursed world, does not like to be told it's wrong. Everybody in a sin-cursed world who does not have the wisdom of God thinks that they're right about everything. And when somebody challenges them on it, whoops, sparks flying, fire blazing, arguments hot. See, but wise people understand we're not always right. And wise people always want more wisdom. Amen? Amen? So when we correct our kids and they get upset, that's normal. Somebody say normal. Just like when we get corrected and we get upset, I'm only human. Well, so is our children. So is our child. Amen? <laughs> Fathers, provoke not your children to anger. Provoke not your children to wrath does mean, this is what it does mean, that we should handle our children in a way that does not incite them to wrathful conduct, that doesn't break their spirit, that doesn't bruise them. One of the most divisive things you can do to your child is insult them. Can I say that again? One of the most divisive, destructive, damning things you can do to a child is insult them. Stupid, idiot, dummy. And those are just the rated G versions. We're not supposed to do that, fathers. Imagine if that's the way your heavenly father treated you. 